So guys, this is part one out of four in total, where I will open two ETBs uh, in every video. And we're gonna start in the earlier days out of Sword and Shield, and we're gonna make our way back and go more recent towards the Scarlet and Violet era. We're gonna open this uh, Darkness Ablaze ETB and Shining Fates ETB today in this opening. In part two, we will, we will open these two ETBs from Chilling Rain. Uh, in part 3 we'll open 2 ETBs from Lost Origin and in part 4 we'll uh, open 2 ETBs from Paradox Rift which will be the only part with some Scarlet and Violet. Um, also the pull rates will gradually increase or should gradually increase. Maybe except for Shining Fates because the shinies, the baby shinies are quite common to come by but there's just so many it's very hard to get something decent. But okay, let's put these back a little bit let's organize it a little bit better so we can have some room for today's opening in part one let's see here all right let's do it like that that's a pretty decent setup i think so we got darkness ablaze and shining fates we're gonna start off with the oldest one being darkness ablaze um i have another one of these just one and for how much I don't like Darkness Ablaze, I actually kind of like the ETB. Uh, I like how the ETB looks. It's very recognizable. Um, and I like the Eternatus on the front there. But it's just, it's just not a good set. It's just not a good set. It is just not a good set. At least not compared to any of the, of the other sets of sword and shield maybe if you compare it to like i don't know uh some 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 sets from early black and white maybe or at the end of maybe i don't know it depends because there are rainbows in here uh and there are full arts in there it's just they don't hold a lot of value so the set is not really loved that much um but yeah the thing is because let, let, let's actually watch the set one more time because i've i have opened one of these before um but it has been a while since i've taken a look at the set so we got regular v's v maxes and the most valuable card in this is this one the regular v max charizard um so yeah but let's see here on the back we do have uh, let's see here, a couple of full arts, we got rainbows and golds, so there are definitely some nice cards in there, it's just for some reason they don't hold any value or any decent value whatsoever, so that's the main thing, because there were earlier sets, like I said, in early black and white and such, where there were like, or even... I think even like Scarlet and, um, Scarlet and Violet, even X and Y earlier sets just had like two secret rares, maybe two full arts, and that was it. Not even rainbows or golds. So it does have that for that. It's just it's just not that exciting compared to um, to the later Sword and Shield sets because there were the alt arts. And then we had the trainer galleries, so that made a huge difference uh, when it comes to value, apparently. But yeah, so we're not gonna go over every item that is in this, because, I mean, we've done that uh, before. And that will go also for the other ETBs right here. We've opened all of these uh, in earlier videos, so I'm not gonna go over every single item in there we just have the code card i just want to show you that uh and some sleeves there okay and that's basically it so let's first open these eight packs of darkness ablaze let's see if we can get a v max all right Oh, that's not a good sign. So, these code cards are probably going to be flipped, which means um, I probably should 
flip the pack to watch the code instead of just removing it because otherwise we'll see if it's a green code card or not which is not a lot of fun because we pretty much know there's not gonna be well sometimes it's wrong sometimes they do have um, hollows well gonna leave this but anyways um, we're still going to just flip it so we're not spoiled so there's no chance to be spoiled there we go let's see here four from the back there's a regular V I think Rose Tower and Houndoom V it's possible that that's the first time I get this card actually I'm not entirely sure but I think I do I think that's the first one all right when did they when did they start to flip these cards around because like from the alt arts onward I think most of the code cards were like with the code this way and not that way Melton and the Hippowdon this will probably have the least amount of hits darkness ablaze it would not surprise me Oof. that card is kind of messed up there luckily that's not a special card what do we get oh no it's just that the side of the card is a little bit damaged I thought I saw some silver border but it's not Skarmory reverse and Hydreigon let me just organize it still because otherwise it's gonna be a hell to uh, sort it out afterwards uh, let's do it like that there we go that's better okay so four packs in already this will probably be the least exciting video I, th I think might be you never know the two chase cards I mean the chase card in this set is the Charizard V max the chase card in the shining fates uh, ETB is also a Charizard V max but the rain no it's is it the rain no the shiny the shiny V uh, Charizard V max rain um, V max full art I should say actually oh we got a uh, a full art here, reverse hollow larvesta, and a Santa Scourge V full art. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Two hits already from Darkness Ablaze. I expected less, actually. All right, and it's strange to say, but oh, Blaziken Hollow—that's a pretty nice Hollow. Uh, and it's strange to say, but actually, Darkness of Blaze for a long time that half booster box was the worst booster box I've ever opened. It recently got surpassed by uh, Fusion Strike, and in, in, um, in the half booster box opening that I've done recently. There was one booster box that I opened. Out of 18 packs, there was only one hit. One hit. I've never experienced something that bad uh, when opening a like booster box where you kind of should have a couple of hits. I don't know if it was an error box or what, but that was the most abysmal thing I've seen. Last pack. Oh no. La second to last pack. Soul Rock Reverse. And Serena regular rare. Last pack for Darkness Ablaze. 
I mean, I won't, I will not complain. Um, one V and one full art could definitely have been worse. We got reverse all of Staravia and Diggers B. Okay, so that was it when it comes to Darkness Ablaze. Um, better than I expected. Better than I expected. Let's go over to Shining Fates. Like, even the most expensive card here, the Charizard, is like 30 euros. So, that's almost the value of the ETB. But, I mean, why? <laughs> In Shining Fates, the Charizard is quite, quite expensive, actually. I think, wasn't it like... Uh, like 150 euros or something like that. 150. It was between 100 and 200, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, of course, in this one, there are 10 uh, booster packs. And not 8, because it's a specialty set from Sword and Shield. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes. So, that's pretty exciting. So, we got the... Sleeves and some accessories. Let's put these to the side. We got a code card for you guys. We got the promo card, of course, the Eevee. We got this one a couple of times already. And we got the energy cards and the sleeves. All right. And that's basically it for Shining Fates. Let's open these 10 packs starting off with the charizard v max arts on the wrap all right oh we got something already imagine we pull a charizard v max out of that pack uh, out of the charizard art on the wrap but it's a full art, I think, full art. And it is... Ooh, Grimmsnarl V, shiny full art. And boss's orders. Alright. Starting off with a full art. Well... It, I think Shining Face will be... Uh, a better result here than... Um, than Darkness Ablaze. Definitely. There's just a lot more pulls in it, but again, there's not a lot of value to them. It's just the top card is very valuable, but the rest is not much higher than 10 euros, basically. Let's see here, second pack, reverse holo Nicket and a holo Luxray. Holo Luxray, let's leave the holo there. And let's go over to the second pack. I'm just going to sort out a couple of the cards from um, the Darkness of Blazed. ETB, I'm sorry. Just Okay, let's get back to the Shining Fates packs. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, Shining Colossal, that's a new one for me, and a regular rare Yen Mega. Okay, not too bad. I mean, we should do better with Shining Fates, there's two more packs in it too. I think it's like... When you compare Shining Fates to the earlier uh, main Sword and Shield sets, it's probably like you have Paldean Fates and compare it to like, uh, although like I was about to say the pull rates of like Paldea Evolved and such, uh, maybe because like Paldean Fates definitely has more pulls in general than a main set just because it has uh, it has more pulls. There's a lot more. We got Reverse Hollow Trap Inch and Dreadnought Regular Rare. So 
fifth back, fifth back already here, I think. So, two hits. Not too crazy, I'd say, but... Let's find out. Ooh, amazing rare Kyogre. Not bad. And a regular rare Celebi. Cool. Very nice, very nice. Already have that amazing rare, but it's it's definitely an okay card to pull, I'd say. It's a cool card. Now, I don't remember, was the Rayquaza amazing rare in Vivid Voltage or in Shining Fates? I think it was Vivid Voltage, right? We got a Reverse Hollow, Yanma. And Delmise V. Alright. So, yeah. You, you, it's clear to see that Shining Fates is supposed to have more pulls than, uh, than Darkness Ablaze. The ETB is also worth more uh, on the market price than Darkness Ablaze. It always has been. It's, it hasn't really risen a lot, as far as I know. Uh, it just always was a, a, a little more expensive than uh, Darkness Blaze, I think. Weasel Reverse and Volcanion. Three more packs to go. One more full art would be nice. Let's see here. No, reverse hollow shinx. And another boss's orders. Oh, we got Shiny Morgrim. That's new for me too. And a Hollow Frost Moth. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I say not too bad, but I mean, <laughs> when it comes to value, we're nowhere near the amount of value that is the sealed ETB. Nowhere, cl not even close. So, what do we have here? Ooh, Toxtricity V Max Shiny. Oh, that is a nice card. That is a beautiful card. Bit off center though, but beautiful card. Ooh, double hitter, Cramorant V. So, actually, that was a that was a decent ETB. Uh, I mean, like I said. Not like we got the value back of the ETB, but that's cool. Definitely the Toxtricity is my favorite card that we've pulled in this opening. Uh, but yeah, look at that. We got a Full Art uh, Shiny, then a VMAX Full Art Shiny, uh, two Baby Shinies, an Amazing Rare, and two Regular Vs. That's not bad. And from Darkness Ablaze, a Full Art and a Regular V, that's actually even better than I expected so this was not a bad opening I'd say uh, when you compare it to like an average pull rate from these two sets um, that was nice that was nice guys so that was part one of the opening uh, tomorrow's opening will be the chilling rain ETBs so we're gonna just leave the setup like it is then afterwards we're gonna open the two lost origin ETBs and then in part four we're gonna open the two paradox rift ETBs. Uh, I'll look forward to opening it. I hope you guys look forward to checking it out. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out some of my other openings on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.